Hi, this is Kim with Scully Pursuits. Today, I'm going to invite you to join my sisters and I on vacation. We headed to Ireland this year and visited several cities in the country. We stayed in the Pembroke Hotel in Kilkenny, and that's where you'll find us in this video today. Now, I'm in the courtyard. I've just left the side door of the hotel. Um, this is where you park, and I thought it was so interesting, their parking, because it's not one of those, you know, uh, multi-level parking garages it's a nice courtyard that you drive through that gate and you head on back and the parking is a one level parking um, look at the vibrant green as you go throughout ireland the colors are beautiful you'll see color everywhere along with the architecture of europe but i love the vibrant colors all along the way from the flowers to the doors everywhere you, you saw it assaulted with these beautiful vibrant colors and that is one thing that I love about Ireland um, in particular now this is uh, they were doing some construction outside the hotel I thought that was kind of interesting um, and we are headed for lunch now we stay started out in Dublin and then we just made our way around the west side of Ireland um, and Kilkenny was one of the later stops in our trip and in subsequent videos I'll show some of the other cities but now we're headed to a restaurant called the Left Bank. And again, the Left Bank is one of those old historical buildings that basically is a feast for the eye. So I'm gonna show you the inside. We're just walking down the road from the hotel. It's only two or three blocks to um, the Left Bank. Look at that door. I wanted you to see some of the doors. I always take pictures of doors when I travel for some reason, but look at this blue door uh, coming up. You'll see a yellow door. And these were just doors that I saw uh, throughout our visit I wanted to highlight uh, during this video. But we are headed to the restaurant for lunch and I'll show you uh, the inside of the restaurant as well uh, once we arrive, as well as what we is what we ate um, for lunch. Um, lunch was between 15 and $20 and that was on average. And this is a sister's, uh, three of my sisters and the, the weather in Ireland, we're told that the, the weather was much nicer, you know, prior to our coming, but the week we were there, it was about between the fifties and the sixties. And we had kind of prepared, I think for the uh, low seventies. Uh, so some of us bought hats and sweaters and in that uh, part of the video, you saw Amy getting some socks, uh, but she had some uh, slip on shoes and, and she was a little cold. So she had borrowed some socks uh, from Sylvia. Now we're still walking down the street. I'm showing you some of the buildings and the stores uh, that you'll see in downtown Kilkenny uh, as we head down uh, the street to the restaurant. Look at the flowers all throughout Ireland. You'll see these beautiful flowers. Um, you'll see them in the downtown. The houses will have box flowers, just beautiful flowers everywhere you go. And I'm told that there are government employees, uh, one that uh, pick up the litter, they're called litter war war wardens, but there's also, and they'll give you a ticket for littering uh, in Ireland, uh, in Kilkenny for sure. And um, also there are employees that come out early in the morning to uh, take care of the flowers. So that's how they're able to maintain the beautiful uh, flowers throughout the city. And of course, uh, the locals, they also have flowers, flowers um, on their homes as well. Now, this is the Left Bank uh, restaurant. Look at the old time feel of it, the architecture of it. Um, the sisters will, will be heading in uh, right about now. And then I'll show you some of the beauty, especially if you like architecture, if you like old uh, buildings, if you like a uh, beautiful chandelier. Just look at this, the woodwork. And um, we just were so fascinated just to kind of sit and eat in this environment because it, it was just such a, a neat place. Now we're trying to figure out what to eat. Uh, I typically... Uh, more than once I got fish and chips. I kind of go with what I know, um, but I'll show you what my lunch looks like. Uh, and some of us uh, got a drink. Um, this is me. And I wanted you to see the view behind me uh, in the restaurant as well. So um, this is one of the drinks that someone ordered. And uh, so I just thought I would share that with you. Now, we planned some of the trip before we arrived in Ireland and some of it we just asked the locals all along the way, the front desk clerks. Um, here's a lunch that someone ordered that looks like that might be Jenny's hand, I'm not sure, uh, but this was my lunch. And then um, with the fish and chips, it often came with peas. You could get mashed peas or regular peas and the regular peas were just so fresh, I preferred those. Um, the pub. Again, we've left the restaurant now um, and Sylvia went back to her room, my younger sister. She has started to come down with bronchitis, I think. Um, but the rest of us head out 
to explore Kilkenny. And uh, that was fun. Look at the beautiful pink doors and just all the vibrant colors that you'll see in Ireland. That's one thing that I was kind of surprised about. I guess I, I hadn't expected it. And that's one thing I like about traveling is all the things that you learn, the people that you meet. Look at those um, hearts on this particular cafe. We stopped at a lot of cafes. We stopped at a lot of coffee shops. We stopped at a lot of bookstores because we all love books. We love coffee and tea. And that was just part of our experience during this week there. Um, now we're just walking uh, along the streets of Kilkenny. You noticed uh, some of the sisters have on hats and that kind of speaks to the weather during this time. We were visiting there in June and this just gives you a sense of what downtown Kilkenny looks like. Now, look at the, there's some more flower arrangements. We are going to tour the castle today, the Kilkenny Castle, um, which was founded uh, in the 12th century it was built in 1260 um, and we're also going to visit a pub um, we squeezed as much as we could in a 24 hours time frame because much of the time uh, we just had a day in some of the cities some of the cities we had two days this is a bookstore that we visit oh. and uh, sylvia bought a book here i think um, actually, my sister and Jenny and I and Amy, we visited a thrift store um, when we were in Ireland. And I, I bought a book there and a couple other items. It was called, they call it the cancer store. But this particular bookstore, um, I think Sylvia might have bought some bookmarks or something here. But we just love talking to um, the bookstore owners or and the employees at the bookstore and just browsing around. Uh, often you'll see people sitting in there. Um, working or having coffee it just seems like it's a, a, a place for people to to visit when they're um, in Ireland now this is the castle uh, it was built uh, for the butlers they were earls marquis and dukes of Ormond right um, the castle is a, considered a square castle now we're inside the castle you see that stained glass window with towers on each corner um, and it was founded soon after the Normans conquered Ireland so it's one of the the older older buildings in Ireland I just love to go back in history now we did a self-guided tour you could have a tour guide I like tour guides sometimes but just it didn't fit uh, with our visit this time we just kind of walked through ourselves and read the different uh, placards to find out about the the family that lived there and some of the history of the furnishings and um, now this is I'm looking up at you know you have to go up several levels and I'm at the bottom level looking up the staircase I thought that made for an interesting uh, picture but the room some of the rooms were massive this is a bed in one of the rooms and it was said that uh, one of the kings um, and his wives uh, slept there this is the bathroom I was curious as to where they used the bathroom at that time and, and that was um, a, a reenactment or of one of the bathrooms now outside they say it's 50 acres that you can walk through uh, that's a garden with the fountain uh, there with the be more beautiful flowers um, and then we head on to this tour now it's called the uh, Kilkenny tours and the best part about this was our tour guide and you're gonna see him he was a character uh, in the coming part of the video now one of the things he did he gave us a lot of history he told us all about you know Ireland and his upbringing um, he uh, went to boarding school was he was a young boy but he always was telling jokes and one of the things he did was he had a, a water gun and as we drove along some of the school kids that were walking along he would spray them so we're now at Texas pub and I'm gonna let you listen to the music uh, in this pub the Paris Texas pub <laughs> Raising songs and stories, heroes of renown, the passing tales of glory that once was Dublin town, the hollow bones of heart and pain. I feel so very nervous and I can't control the wind. Johnny lights a candle and the wrong body Shame. Now it's given no such hurries and few would the walk So he's a decent man and pursues the bushes with his golden key. Hey, holy dilly, I don't go shame. My father was a stater and me mother of the time. 
she loved her happiness as just her son of a fancy man. No one is a potato. Barry's on the tail. A turn to transport you. And they said. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.